Why are you not seeing gains at the gym? Are you a beginner looking to gain muscles in the gym? Let me tell you a little secret. Very often I see a beginner in the gym getting frustrated over not getting enough muscle in a certain amount of time after what everyone's been telling them about newbie gains. I can tell you this, you're not going to get a significant amount of muscle mass in the first few weeks. Sure, you might get a little bit, but it's not going to be super noticeable and it's not going to get you to where you want to be. Your muscle strength will increase substantially in the first 8-10 to 10 weeks because of neural adaptation, but your muscle hypertrophy will not kick in until after 10 weeks, most likely. Some people may experience earlier muscle hypertrophy, especially if they started out underweight. Here are some neural adaptations that you might be interested in. Here are some of the things you may experience during the first 8-10 to 10 weeks. More motor unit recruitment, synchronization of motor units, suppression of protective mechanisms, less responsiveness to Golgi tendon organ, and reduced co-activation of antagonists. In plain English, most developments during the first few months are due to your neural adaptation. Your nervous system will learn to activate more muscle fibers and the firing rate of neural impulses increase. Neural impulses mainly originate from your brain's motor cortex and then they travel through a complex neural network to activate your muscles. This neural excitation increases massively. Imagine turning a muscle stimulating device from 10 to 12, 10 being the weaker stimulus. This is pretty much what it is. For example, when you're performing a biceps curl, your bicep is the working muscle and your triceps is the antagonist muscle as it is working in the opposite direction. So as you can imagine, if they're working at the same time, you're essentially fighting yourself and the bicep curl is going nowhere. This cold contraction of both bicep and tricep will diminish as a result of regular strength training over time. So essentially your body adapts to only allowing your biceps to activate and inhibits your triceps while your bicep is active. Additionally, over time, synergist muscles, the smaller muscles that help out with your bicep curls, such as brachialis and brachioradial, is also going to learn to help bicep muscles more efficiently in the curl. Do you still remember the times when you were a beginner? Ever wonder why you got muscle soreness everywhere after doing a workout? For example, why did you get so much soreness in your biceps when you were doing the pull-up to target your back? Essentially, your nervous system didn't know how to properly activate the bigger muscle group in your back so that your synergist muscles such as your biceps did most of the work for you. But once you do pull-ups more and more often with correct form, your body learns that by using your back muscles, your movement becomes more efficient and you'll start to feel more in the lats as opposed to biceps. And improvements in intermuscular coordination basically means your muscles became more efficient working with each other. The post 8 to 10 weeks training is the muscular adaptation phase in which you will see more myofibrils, actin, and myosin filaments, more sarcoplasm, more connective tissue, and more increased cross bridges. And all these more efficient communication between your muscles lead to greater strength gain in the first few months. Once you hit the muscular adaptation phase, you will actually gain muscle mass and your fibers will increase in size. Now you know what to expect. Stay motivated as getting bigger doesn't happen overnight. Here are some tips to maximize your adaptations. Beginners can usually gain strength with lower intensity, 60% of 1 rep max, and 10 to 15 rep range cause neural muscular adaptations and strength gains. The rep range and intensity are great for the general adaptation period and have been recommended to beginners by many leading authors in the field. Simply put, beginners need less variation in their training. Same training program can give great results for months if the progressive overload is maintained. Thus, it's better to load your muscles relatively often in the early stages of your training, rather than going for those heavy, heavy 1 max, 3 rep max. In fact, if you don't want to do a 1 rep max, you don't ever have to do it. Lastly, don't forget to train one muscle group two to three times per week, and the kind of split I would suggest for that will be a upper-lower split for beginners, and then gradually moving into a push-pull leg split that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. My Physique signing out.